For those who doesn't know, um, me and my kid's dad are not romantically together anymore. We got a divorce about two years ago now. Um, he's a professional hockey player and plays for the team here in Arizona. Um, and we were together for about you know, 12 years. And before that, we were living in Chicago for 10 years. But I still go to a lot of the games with the kids and we still have a great relationship, which I'm very grateful for. And they are very lucky because he's a great dad. You know, getting a divorce is never easy, whichever situation you are in. And being the one wanting the divorce was extremely hard for me. Not only because you feel like you're letting down your family, but also because everyone has an opinion about it and about your feelings. But you need to remember that it's your life and your feelings and nobody can know or judge you in your personal journey if they haven't been in it. When you get married, you obviously want it to be forever and last forever. In our case, we met when we were 18 years old, straight out of high school, and we just grew apart and we just couldn't find a way to grow back together, I think. I was struggling a very long time with my feelings in the end because it's the absolute hardest decision I have ever had to make because I knew it would obviously change our lives forever. But I don't think that a divorce has to be a tragedy. It all depends on how you see it and how, how you are handling it. I don't want to teach my children that you should be in a relationship if you're not in love or happy just because you have children or because of others' opinions, because it is your life and you have a responsibility over your own life. I honestly started to get depressed because I was trying so hard to feel and force something to come back that just wasn't there anymore. I just wanted it so badly to come back. But you can't force yourself to feel things that's just not there anymore. And that was extremely hard for me. It just comes to a point where you can't ignore how you feel anymore and um, you have to make that decision, which I did. When you really care about somebody but you just don't have those romantic feelings towards them anymore, you still want them to be happy and I believe both of us deserves that love and happiness. I just felt like I couldn't give him that love that he deserves in the end. I just want him to have that happiness just as much as I want that for myself. 
And now we both have a chance to find that again. I am so grateful for those years and memories that we created together and I always will have those and always will cherish cherish those and I'm even more grateful for the relationship that we have today how well we co-parent and work together and still have a friendship because I know that's not very common in these situations but most of all I'm so grateful for my children that they are happy and doing so well. I also feel like these two years that I've had on my own to myself and to focus on myself and my children and what I really want in life is something that I've really needed and it has opened up some things in me and it has taught me so much about myself and for that I'm so 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 grateful and I believe that I am exactly where I'm supposed to be in life at this moment.